Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. This is a box o whiskey. Unlike wine, boxes o whiskey tend to be a bit fancy. Yeah, they're classy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is Dewar's. This is a Dewar's signature edition from Matthew Zittrick. Okay. He got us the fanciest Dewar's, or one of the fanciest Dewar's. Because Dewar's is one of these brands I don't associate with high end fanciness. Yeah. Well, That's a nice box. It is a nice box. Got the fancy wood. Look at this. Shiny. Zittrick. Uh, Why is this partly. I think we've been sampling it. Matthew Zittrick, you magnificent bastard. Fight. So he I brought was, it was, to the whiskey class. So he was sampling? I think we all sampled a little bit. Okay. To see what it tasted like. Alright. Well, but you, it was during the whiskey class. You barely saved me up. Just barely enough. Barely. Okay. So Alright, where's your glass? Hey, move your glass down. What, what are you doing looking here? looking for the other doers. One put the our, white label? One put our, yeah, the, the white label. That's the cheap one, right? Yep. Okay. So. Now I love the doer's story, the brothers and the their marketing geniuses. Here we go. Cool advertising. Yeah, that's the one you probably have seen a lot. They were the first to do a film advertisement. This is not even close to the same color. And the nose. Oh yeah. Is a whole different ball game. It's still a blended scotch, which means it still has grain whiskey in it. Right. But the nose on this is complex and interesting. It's a lot easier to see the color difference in the bottle than the glass. Got some multi, the multi floral notes in there. So what evidently what they're saying they do is they they create all their blends and then they put them back into oat barrels to settle. So not new, of, not not new make blends. They let yeah. them age for a while, see where it's going, then yeah. blend. They blend it, them all together and like this is what we want, and then they let them rest in oak casks instead of in stainless steel vats or okay, just a little age. more, a little extra aging, but also it marries those flavors together. Okay, fair enough. I like that idea. This is very. Fruit and malt dust heavy. For me, it's more of a floral than a fruit note, but malt absolutely. It's Ooh. familiar, yet there are some unique elements. Yeah, there's this weird dark wood note, but it's not oaky. It's like it's, a um, it's like a smoothed off sandalwood. Yeah, it's not it's not varnishy. It's not coated. Mm -hmm. it, but it is wood. But the flavor profile does this really burst of fruity sweetness and then into this slightly thin yeah. sandalwood and then the lingering finishes actually oil a uh, grain like malt mustiness. Yeah, I would well, yes with some a little bit of nuttiness mixed in there. Yeah. On that finish. It's really nice. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's a very nice whiskey. I think this rings in at a couple hundred bucks though. Well damn. Okay, now I don't know that I would Switch to this for two hundred dollars. Spend the money on what you want to spend the money on. Yeah, that's true. Now, the, not considering the label. not considering any price points, it is a lovely whiskey. I really enjoy it. What was the proof on this? Forty percent. Yeah, they're all about the forties, man. But uh, so the white. No, here's. Oh yeah, the white's all pure honey. That forty percent though, you do vanilla. Get, you do get a surprising amount of flavor out of that eighty proof whiskey. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Frosting. Yeah. This is so much thinner, so much um, more of a brittle, sugary sweetness. Yeah, this is this is a nice, tasty whiskey. I don't know that I okay. would be willing to spring for that price point for it, though. These are totally different animals. They're not even close to the same. This is in a, whole, a whole other league. So now, fact, the league that it puts itself in with that price point, that is very regional, it, it has some stiff competition, though. So here's what's weird about this, because a lot of blends have a style. Yeah. Right? Like... Like um, and I'm left with this weird metallic artificial artificial candy fruit note on the Dewar's white label. I've noticed in some blends, as you get into age statement versions of themselves, you can tell like this is that category. This is Johnny. This is uh, Chivas. This is uh, right. Sure. But these don't have a similar profile. No, there. I mean, it's probably about I don't know. There's no thread running between these two that would say they're, this they're is very, from the same. They're line. very different. I'm thinking. I could find about twenty to thirty percent of the elements that I think are common, but hell, you could say that about any a Scotch lot of, yeah, 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 or any grain-based whiskey. All right, we got the Jack Ryder here for the Blade and Bow fans. I've got a question. Oh, and I put this in here because I've never thought about this, and I can't find a way out of it. And now I'm super curious. I'm hoping somebody else knows the real answer to this. 
How are they able to call themselves just straight bourbon whiskey uh, if they're using a Solera blending method? So remind people what Solera So Solera means, say you have five barrels. Uh, the first one is three years old. The bottom row is three years old, next two years old, then one year old. As you dump from the three, you leave some whiskey in there and you refill, you keep refilling new whiskey into the old whiskey. Mm -hmm. So over time, your oldest whiskey keeps getting older and your youngest whiskey is always at least a certain age. And yeah. so I don't... I get that they're using already aged bourbon and then blending it and they could, uh, so they could call it bourbon, but surely the transferring it from a Solera barrel to barrel, from Solera barrel to barrel would mean it would have to carry an asterisk just like it's a if it's a port barrel finished bourbon would uh, any help would be greatly appreciated. Basically, how come they're, they're they have, how come it's not considered finishing? Do they have different rules in the the Solera? Well, I mean the blade and the bow. It's bourbon. It's yes. Yeah, it's, it's so yes. it's it's absolutely it's, American. Yes, it's not yes. coming from a third. No, no, no. But the, the real question is, no, how, if, how does TTB if, if it's a if it's a state based company, it won't and matter. They're making a bourbon. It won't matter. And it has to be, once you put it into a different barrel. In theory, it's finishing. So how you, are they getting you can't away? Call it straight bourbon. No. So what's what's the TTB rule that's letting them move barrel through the casks in a Solaris system and call it straight bourbon? Yeah. Or are they? Right. Yeah. It's like here's a bottle. Does it say the straight bourbon? What yeah, is it, it says Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Because I've even been told by a TTV agent right. that if we dumped whiskey out of one of our barrels, weighed it, and put it back in, right. we are now considered to be finishing that whiskey, right. even if in the same barrel it just came out of. <laughs> right. So I, who can answer that question? Uh, Altivasinen. Altivasinen. Well, this just got out of hand. First Highland Park, and now this. What do we got? This is Balmore or Balmore? Yeah. What do we got? Vault edition? The vault edition. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Conspiracy theory time. Dude, dude, oh, dude don't, why would you get me riled? Because there's been so many examples. It's beyond conspiracy theory. <laughs> it is practical fact that, <laughs> that there's a lot of not too subtle nods and Fine, 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 fine. fine. I just fine. think it's funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who's... I'm just waiting for someone to release a bottle called the Rex and Daniel edition. But their story is like, so this uncle Rex, one of the early founders of the distillery, a, had a brother named Daniel, a, a, and it's two hundred like, year old family recipe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink. May you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.